Sandra K. Fluke is an American attorney and women's rights feminist activist. She first came to public attention when, in February 2012, Republican members of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee refused to allow her to testify to that committee on the importance of requiring insurance plans to cover birth control during a discussion on whether medical insurance should have a contraception mandate. She later spoke to only House Democratic members. Fluke supported President Barack Obama's re-election campaign in 2012 and was a featured speaker at the 2012 Democratic National Convention. She has stated her intention to run for the state Senate seat of Ted Lieu, who intends to run for the congressional seat to be vacated by Henry Waxman. Early in personal life, Sandra Fluke is a native of Saxton, Pennsylvania, and graduated from Pennsylvania's Tussie Mountain Junior Senior High School in 1999. In 2003, Fluke graduated from Cornell University with double major in policy analysis and management in feminist, gender and sexuality studies. In April 2012, Fluke became engaged to Adam Mutterbull, and they are now married. Career, Fluke co-founded the New York Statewide Coalition for Fair Access to Family Court, which successfully advocated for legislation granting access to civil orders of protection for unmarried victims of domestic violence, including teen LGBTQ victims. Fluke was also a member of the Manhattan Borough President's Task Force on Domestic Violence and numerous other New York City and New York State coalitions that successfully advocated for policy improvements impacting victims of domestic violence. While in New York City, she worked for Sanctuary for Families, which aids victims of domestic violence and human trafficking. Fluke enrolled at Georgetown University Law Center. In an interview with Sarah Cole for The Washington Post, Fluke stated that she had researched the Jesuit Collegia Euro unregistered trademark S health plans for students before enrolling, and found that birth control was not included, telling her I decided I was absolutely not willing to compromise the quality of my education in exchange for my health carrier Euro. In 2011, Fluke was a recipient of the Women Lawyers of Los Angeles Fran Candle Public Interest Grant from Georgetown University Law Center, which supported her production of a video on how to take out a restraining order. She also represented numerous victims of domestic violence and human trafficking, and worked to help child victims of domestic human trafficking in Kenya. She served as president of the Georgetown Law Students for Reproductive Justice Student Organization. She received her Juris Doctor degree, cum laude, from Georgetown in 2012. She passed the California Bar in July 2012, and was admitted to the California Bar on December 11, 2012. Speech to Congressional Democrats on Contraception Mandates While a law student at Georgetown, Fluke was invited by Democrats to speak at a hearing by the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee on new administration rules concerning the conscience clause exceptions in health care associated with the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. The exception applied to church organizations themselves, but not to affiliated non-profit corporations such as hospitals, which do not rely primarily on members of the faith as employees. In addition, Another exception was created for religious institutions in which an employee can seek birth control directly from an insurance company rather than non-profit religious organizations. Democrats requested that the committee add Sandra Fluke to the first panel, which was composed entirely of clergy and theologians. Committee Chairman Darrell Issa, a Republican congressman from California, refused, stating that Fluke lacked expertise, was not a member of the clergy and her name was not submitted in time for the hearing. Democratic members criticized the decision not to include Fluke since it left the panel with only male members, when the purpose of the hearing was to discuss contraception coverage. The following week, the House Democratic Steering and Policy Committee convened a meeting to invite Fluke to speak. She put forward reasons why Georgetown University should be compelled to offer health care that covers contraceptive drugs in spite of the Catholic University's moral opposition to artificial birth control. She also stated that 40% of Georgetown Law School's female population suffered financial hardship as a result of birth control not being covered by the student health insurance plan, 
and that the lack of contraception coverage in the university insurance plans would induce many low-income students to go without contraceptives. Fluke insisted that the women of Georgetown, other religious schools, and employees of religious institutions such as hospitals have endured financial, emotional and medical burdens because of this lack of contraceptive coverage. She then shared stories of friends affected by such policies, citing a friend with polycystic ovary syndrome. Fluke stated this friend needed contraceptive hormones costing over $100 per month to treat the disease, and that while PCOS was covered by Georgetown Insurance, the insurance company repeatedly denied contraceptives because they suspected the purpose of the medication was for contraceptive uses. Controversial Comments by Rush Limbaugh On February 29, 2012, Rush Limbaugh labeled Sandra Fluke a slut and prostitute based on her speech before House Democrats. Fluke appeared to support mandating health insurers to cover contraceptive costs. Limbaugh stated, Fluke essentially says that she must be paid to have say exad euro, what does that make her? It makes her a slut, right? It makes her a prostitute. She wants to be paid to have sex. She's having so much sex she can't afford the contraception. She wants you and me and the taxpayers to pay her to have sex. Political figures, including President Obama and Republican House Speaker John Boehner, voiced disapproval of Limbaugh's comments. On March 3, Limbaugh apologized the fluke for his comments, saying his insulting word choices were meant to be humorous, and that he never believed her to be a slut, or a prostitute. Fluke rejected the apology as dubious and inadequate. Support for President Obama and role in re-election campaign, on June 14, 2012, CNN published an op-ed piece by Fluke titled, Why This Election Is So Personal in which she gave several reasons why she believed Barack Obama was more likely than Mitt Romney to improve the lives of the American people. In the piece, Fluke specifically mentioned President Obama's support of the Lilly-led Better Fair Pay Act, increasing the government's investment of Pell Grant scholarships, and the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act to support her argument. Fluke also introduced President Obama at a campaign rally in Denver on August 8, 2012 and was a featured speaker at the 2012 Democratic National Convention, where she addressed the different visions of the role of women in the election. Her speech was criticized by opponents a year or most notably by Congressman Joe Walsh of Illinois, as an example of the Democrats' desire to avoid focusing on the economy and catering to their base. Several opinion writers have remarked that the continuing criticism of Fluke has served to revisit the Limbaugh controversy and changed the topic of debate to reproductive issues. Following this, she received other invitations to speak on the issue of reproduction at various conferences and lectures. 2014 Candidacy for Office In 2014, Fluke announced she was running for California State Senate in the new 26th district created by the 2011 redistricting. The new district is roughly equivalent to the pre-redistricting 28th district represented by Ted Liu. In the June 3 primary, she came in second with 19.5% of the vote. This means that, in the general election, she will face Democrat Ben Allen, who won 22.2% of the primary vote. See also, Procreative Beneficence, Reproductive Justice, Reproductive Rights, References. External links, Official Website, Sandra Fluke Campaign Website, Fluke's 2012 DNC Speech.